In this episode, we address every student's greatest fear, and that is not disappointing group members or lousy professors' examinations. As the famous saying goes, if you don't know it, Google it. I'll be teaching you some nifty Google hacks that can make searching for info a whole lot easier. First up, consider replacing unknown variables with asterisks. For example, Naomi Hu is the one who is currently pregnant and married. Run a search, replace it with asterisks, and there you have it, Naomi Neo is the one who is currently pregnant and married. If you only want to search within a particular website that you absolutely trust, then consider the site function. If I only want to hear what Hardware Zone has to say about the newest S9, then simply run a search, S9 site Hardware Zone, run the search, and there you have it. Everything Hardware Zone has to say about the newest S9. If you want to find out the term of something and you want to sieve out all the kinds of junk that the internet can provide, simply use the define function. Let's say I want to find out the definition of opportunity cost. And there we have it. Use quotation marks when you want to find out information on a particular phrase. For example, open quotation, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Close quotation, enter, and then, automatically, George Orwell's Animal Farm pops up. This will be exceptionally useful for when you need to do citations. If you have a ton of notes to speed read and process quickly, then consider switching up all your fonts to Times New Roman because apparently it is one of the easiest fonts to read. And fun fact, that is also why it was invented for newspapers. Let's say you're staying in a dorm and you have a roommate. So you have something important to study for tomorrow and your roommate is fast asleep, you don't want to disturb him. All you need to do to create your own night light is simply have your handphone torch light and then you put a glass of filled water over the torch light. There you have it, your own form of night light that is non-intrusive and definitely won't be as bright as the main light was on. Let's say you were hard at work typing away frantically during your lectures and then your laptop overheats. This tip for you that you can try out is a very simple household tip. All you need are two forks and some scotch tape. So you just have to prop up your laptop here like that, then tape up the parts that are in contact with your laptop, and there you have it. More breathable laptop and less overheating. The last tip, which is not really a tip, is for those people who really need, who are really damn desperately in need of self-control. This app is called Freedom. Okay, so you just download this into your phone and then you download it into your computer as well, and then you just set it up. Okay, so you can start actually uh, deciding that kind of time that you want to block out. So it basically blocks out all the kinds of social media apps that you can find, even WhatsApp, for like the good, I mean, let's say five hours like, if you are using that kind of time for studying. That is really quite intense because it makes use of VPN, so it really blocks you out for like that one minute. Uh. So all the best with that. We've come to the end of the video and I hope you like all the text that I shared with you. But if you don't, still like this video anyway, please. Anyway, if you like what you see, also tell us in the comments below so that I can improve, you can improve, and we can all improve as a community. So that's what friends are for, even if you're not. Signing off. That was Timo. Right?